Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video on my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing another update on the coronavirus and this one is going to be just in South Carolina. I'm going to be providing um, all the information, the latest information I should say, um, from um, the Department of Health and Environmental Control, also known as DHEC, um, concerning the coronavirus in South Carolina. So let's get right into this and also this information is updated as of April 21st, 2020, okay? So first of all, the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control, also known as DHEC, announced 170 new cases of coronavirus and, and 11 additional deaths. That was yesterday, um, April 22nd. This now brings the total number of people confirmed um, in South Carolina to COVID-19 to 4,608, and um, and it brings the death total up to 135. Um, Let's see, uh, here are just some of the counties that are listed right now with um, with confirmed cases. Right now we have Abbeville with one, Aiken with one, Anderson with two, Beaufort with eight, Berkeley with four, Charleston with 12, Darlington with eight, Dillon with one, Fairfield with one, Florence with 15, Greenville with 17, Greenwood with three, Ori with three, Lexington at 12, Marion at 4, Orangeburg at 5, Pickens at 3, Richland at 30, Spartanburg at 5, and Summer and Sumter at 14. Um, I didn't list all of them, so definitely be sure if you want the latest information about your county, be sure to head to sc, scdhec.gov for the latest information on the coronavirus in the state of South Carolina. Um, let's go down a little bit. Okay, um, here we go. With testing, as of April 20th, DHEC's pub public laboratory has conducted around 12,392 tests for COVID-19. Of these tests, 1,521 were positive and 10,871 were negative. And that is a total of 42,441 Um Private lab, laboratory and private labs have been, to have, have been conducted in the state. DHEC public laboratory is operating extended hours and is testing specimens seven days a week, okay? Um, as a, now let's go to hospital bed capacity. Um, as of yesterday morning, 4,863.69 hospital beds were available and 6,551 were utilized. No, 6,511 were utilized which is a 57.2 statewide hospital utilization rate. Excuse me for that. I um, think that is all of uh, just um, just how you can protect yourself. Evidence is increasing about the high rates of infection in people who do not have symptoms, symptoms and do not know that they are infectious. This place, this place is rec this, okay, uh, let's, let's skip that sentence. Um, just, uh, just once again, the ways that you can protect yourself. Uh, number one, practicing social distancing. Number two, wearing a mask while you're out in public. Um, number three, avoiding touching frequent touch items. You know, if you go to the grocery store, if you're touching shelves, be sure that you're wearing, um, you know, just your, your gloves and everything. So definitely be sure that you're wearing that. And also washing your hands regularly and also monitoring for symptoms. And if you are, if anyone is concerned about their health, please should be sure to um, notify your doctor immediately. Um, once again, if you do have the coronavirus and you're elderly, quarantine yourself. Or even if you're not elderly, elderly, excuse me, just quarantine yourself. So that way we can um, get um, this coronavirus stuff over um, with hopefully in it within a few months. Um, for those of you who are wondering, um, for those of you who are kids that are wondering about school, uh, I just talked to my teacher this morning. And um, he said they, that they're having a um, teacher meeting this morning, and that um, the district office should have a meeting, um, should have a dis have a decision um, by the end of this week. Um, I'm not sure um, if we are going to go back. My guess is that we're not going to go back for the rest of the semester. I'm not very very happy about that because I love school this year. But once again, we'll have to wait until the end of this week because we should have a decision. We should have a decision by the end of this week. So just be sure that you're watching on the latest watching the latest press conferences that Governor Henry McMaster has put out and also our President Donald Trump has put out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Be safe. Uh, be safe. And once again, be sure to stay tuned to my channel for the latest information about um, news, weather, and the latest information about the coronavirus. Thank you, guys so, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.